Well, looks like it's time to start hitting that new 4K monitor you just bought with a hammer because it's about to be worthless trash. Okay, that's a bit of a stretch, but in all seriousness, it looks like 4K could be a thing of the past because according to some new deceptive marketing, it looks like 8K is finally here and not only 8K, but you better plug your holes before they burst because apparently a new 8K ultra wide monitor is set to release soon, which has me so excited, except it doesn't because it's complete bull. Now, the monitor in question is the next generation Odyssey Neo G9, and on paper, this monitor looks absolutely amazing, and truly, the increase in resolution will be a huge improvement to the display's clarity. But in this video, I'm going to explain why you absolutely should not wait for this overpriced shit and why it probably won't be as good as you're hoping, but first, let's bend it over and take a long look at those specs. So according to all the info and leaks, we have so far the next generation Odyssey Neo G9 will likely be a 7680 by 2160 ultra wide mini LED display using a VA panel which should get up to 240 hertz thanks to its new DisplayPort 2.1 connection. Additionally, I'm sure Samsung will try and market this as a 2000 nit display as well and I'm sure they'll technically be able to get at least one pixel to do that during a test pattern but for actual usage that's gonna be complete bullshit. So yes, the specs look good, but first of all, referring to this as 8K in any way, shape, or form is completely disingenuous and either displays complete incompetence or is an example of companies trying to trick you into buying something it's really not. Because not only is 7680 by 2160 not ultra wide 8K, but it's not even regular 8K. 8K is 7680 by 4320, double the horizontal resolution of this display. So to call this 8K is so unbelievably outside the bounds of reality that if they actually continue to use this as marketing, I wouldn't be surprised if they get taken to court over it someday. But that's not even the worst of it. The worst part of Samsung's ultra wide displays like the Neo G9 has been the horrific scan lines visible at 240 hertz. I can personally attest to just how atrocious these assaults on the eyes truly are when running these displays at 240 hertz, which is a real shame, and hopefully they can finally fix this issue, but year after year it comes back on pretty much all new Odyssey 240 hertz displays Samsung puts out, and when we're talking about 4K and 4K ultra wide resolutions, these types of issues simply aren't acceptable. Also, that's not even actually the worst part. The real worst part is I can almost guarantee they'll use a hideous heavy matte finish which will be the cherry on top of absolutely destroying the image clarity. I mean honestly if you want to experience what a next generation Neo G9 will look like just place an LG OLED on a belt sander and smear some vegetable oil all over the screen. Now you might think I'm kidding but I'm not. I can pretty much guarantee if you actually did that and placed it next to a Neo G9 monitor you actually wouldn't be able to tell the difference in clarity or colors. So there you have it. Hopefully that helps you with your future buying decisions, but that's all I got for today, so you can put that chub away.